got eight. I woke up late today. You guys know this t-shirt. Getting rid of that as well. A guy from LA sent this to me. Do you see those cringy men? I got my new phone. Hi, Stan Stans. My name is Stan. Welcome to the world of extra. Oh my god, you guys. Finally, I'm back in Japan. Officially. Last week didn't count because it was Dewey's birthday. I'm currently waiting for a taxi because I'm gonna go get a haircut. I feel like getting a haircut is like number one to any transformation. Anyway, I'm kind of late. Let's go. My hair appointment at number 76 is in 30 minutes. I haven't had breakfast yet. It's literally 3 p.m. I've been doing that so much recently. I really need to get my life together. You're gonna have to help me in this video. Oh yeah, I came to Mr. Farmer's. I actually don't like this place that much. Don't get their smoothies here. I wouldn't necessarily recommend coming here, but it's actually really yummy if you're vegan. It's a vegan restaurant, I think. It's on the menu said chicken. Quotation marks is vegan chicken. It tastes like real chicken. I made it to number 76, but don't be fooled because it's my number one favorite salon. Yeah, I'm gonna perm my hair today. It's probably gonna take like at least two hours. So I'll see you when it's done. Yeah. <laughs> Just kidding. This is my hair. Here is my new hair color in three, two, one. We got it lightly permed. I think it looks so good. On to the next mission. Okay, you got me. It's 12.42 p.m. and I just woke up. <laughs> Shut up. I have been waking up so, so late recently. If you guys follow my Instagram, I will that show, which you guys should follow, by the way. You guys know that I've been saying good to the morning, you guys. I've just been waking up so, so late and I'm like trying to blame jet lag, but it's literally because I've been sleeping at like 3 a.m. being on my phone. I'm so addicted to my phone recently. Also, I got a perm yesterday, as you guys know, so I'm just spraying my hair with some more Moisture and repair spray. When I had that really curly hair back in like February, this was a lifesaver. I actually love my perm so, so much. What do you guys think of my new haircut? I mean, it is still kind of the same, but I feel like it's just so much more personality now. But yeah, no, like I said, I've been so addicted to my phone and sleeping so late and waking up so late. But I always tell my little brother this because he always ends up beating himself up when he's not able to like wake up early or sleep early. Honestly, just claim it. Like you don't have to always be waking up early and like beating yourself up won't reverse what you did already. The negative effect of what you did is all in the mindset. Just be like, I kinda ate. I woke up late today. Anyway, moving on. You know what I'm saying? It's like, what are you gonna do? Oh my god, I woke up so late. Shut the fuck up. Just claim it, move on, and do something to make up for it. Which honestly is this video. I really wanna get my life together in this video. My plants are dead. All my plants... That is not a plan. That's a carcass. And I feel like the health of your plan says so much about how much you have your life together. And obviously my plans are bad. But that's also because I just came back from traveling. But yeah, no, I... This is my outfit. Outfits are meant to be rewired. Let's just get our lives together, okay? All the clothes I bought in my travels is just everywhere. I do not have luggage space for them. I do not have closet space for them either. Oh my god, I need to get my life together for real. <laughs> okay, first things first, we need to get rid of my plants. And I know you guys are probably like, Oh my god, Stan, no, you can still revive them. Oh, trust me, there's no reviving this. Stewie actually had to cut off all the dead leaves. And even the living ones are so limp and literally just so dead. Especially this big one. This big one is just falling apart. I just have a feeling you guys are gonna yell at me, so instead of like killing them on camera, I'll just move them outside. Oh my god, my room looks so empty without plants. Let's go plant shopping. This is something I've talked about for months on my channel. If you guys are breaking out, you guys have to try using a silk pillowcase. When I tell you this really changed my skin, I'm not kidding. This is not only for skin, this is also for your hair. Especially if you guys do a lot of like bleaching, perming, you guys need a silk pillowcase as well. Not only do you need a silk pillowcase, you guys have to change your pillowcases every single week. God knows how much you drool in your sleep. Recently, I've been so tired because I sleep so late at night. I've been drooling so much, it's disgusting. So I always have to change my pillowcases. And this goes in the wash. Also, if you guys watched my new Tokyo apartment video, you guys know that these posters were not here. But I had to move them here to use these, like, built-in hooks in my apartment. Do you guys remember how I used to stick them on this textured white wall? Literally every single adhesive I've tried, it literally won't stick. Like, in one week's time, it would just fall to its death. So I had to put them on those, like, ugly-ass spots. On my birthday, 
birthday a few months ago before I left for my travel. Justin got me this really, really cute Majo no Takyubing poster from Studio Ghibli. Ah! I've been wanting a Studio Ghibli poster for months at this point. I'm gonna get a frame for this as well, but let me just stick it to see the vibe. Because I really want a poster here. It's so ugly just having a white wall here. I'll just use these nice little white tags. Just like that, right? I love it! I feel like posters add so much warmth and depth and hominess to any apartment, any room, any space. Yay! Also, I really need to be able to control the lighting in this apartment, but I only have this, like, stupid little white curtain. I don't have blackout curtains since I've moved here, and I need that. Especially because sometimes I sleep so, so late that I end up seeing the sunrise. And I'm the type of person who needs a pitch black room to be able to sleep. So I really, really need to get blackout curtains. Also, laundry rule, and button all the buttons, and zip all zippers, so your clothes don't break. Is that a thing everyone knows? How many times have I worn these pajamas? This is gonna sound so like pick me good smelling first world problem. But the thing with me is I smell so so good that I never know how many times I've worn clothes. Because even when I wear a t-shirt for like the 50th time, it still smells so nice and fresh. <laughs> Sorry. The other day I went to Jo Malone and I smelled this dark amber and ginger lily perfume. Ah! It changed my life. Let's go to Jo Malone today as well. Oh my god, I have so much things to do. Getting my life together, getting a new perfume. Like what? I know this is disgusting behavior. Why am I living like a swine? I'm never like this. Also me living like a swine is not taking out the trash for like three days. My apartment is actually really clean. I promise, I promise it is. Where you guys live, you guys need to segregate your plastic bottles, all the cans and stuff. Like, what's it like in your country? In Japan, you even have to take off the label of the plastic bottles. That's something I have to do every single time. This coconut milk from Don Quixote, Stewie put me on. So good. It's not sweet, but it's so creamy and coconutty. 10 out of 10 would recommend. And every time I pull out an Aquarius, you guys know that this is from a crazy night out. Just me trying to hydrate myself and not pass out from the dehydration of the alcohol. Taking out the trash is my least favorite chore. Yeah. Trash boy. Yes, this is me pretending to vacuum because if I actually vacuum, it's so loud in the video. Anyway, let's get going. I haven't had breakfast. Again, it's 3 p.m. I haven't had breakfast. Dan, stop doing this yourself. So for breakfast, I came to egg slide. Today, I'm not FaceTiming with Nicolette. I'm FaceTiming with Justin. <laughs> I came to egg slide. I feel like egg slide is one of my favorite places to eat in the morning. Actually, that's a lie. I never come here. I feel like I only come here like twice a year. And this is the second time this year. So I'm never coming back this year. I got myself a sausage egg muff muffin. McMuffin and this very performative salad. Salad for shut up. It's literally just like baby kale and a little bit of oil and it's so bitter. Mm -hmm. So yummy. Performative coffee of the day. This is the most horrible coffee I've ever had. The weather is so beautiful today. I wish I got out of the house earlier, but it's fine. I feel like this is part of all my errands videos. The first thing I want to do is go to Bika Camera to develop all the pictures from my old film camera. This is lots of pictures from my travels and just like throughout the months. So I'm excited to see all the pictures. I'm going to show you guys all the pictures at the end as usual. I'm in Shinjuku today, by the way. I usually run all my errands in Shibuya, I feel like. But today's a Shinjuku day. I don't know which one I prefer. It's so weird that a camera store has everything. They have one. Watches. They even have skincare. It's pretty much just Don Quixote. I don't remember it being that expensive, but it was literally $40. $40 for some fucking data in my fucking phone? I was making my getting my life together to-do list last night, and it literally says, get corned beef. I don't know what the connection between corned beef and getting my life together is, but I feel like I should trust my past self and just get corned beef because I feel like I know what I was trying to do last night. Anyway, let's go get corned beef. <laughs> but while I'm here though, might as well just restock on my skincare and stuff. This is my holy grail mascara. You guys have to try it. It's called the Deja Vu. The, the one with the blue packaging. And the pink thing. Shut up. It doesn't clump at all. And it just makes your lash look so good. Shut up. I also used to pluck my brows. But I heard that like plucking it makes it not 
grow anymore. So my friend actually suggested just like shaving it all the time. So that's what I'm gonna do from now on. You guys also have to try this Sun By Me Vitamin C Serum. It's my holy grail vitamin C serum. It changed my skin and my life simultaneously. This D program lotion and emulsion from Chiseido as well. Holy grail. Been using it since I was in university. Good for acne skin. If you guys need a good hair mask that will actually change your hair, Fino hair mask. Fun fact, I used to work at a drugstore and foreigners would buy literally like 20 of these and take it back to their home country. We literally had to make a rule that one person can only buy up to two of this because it was all the hype. Also, because I have bangs, I've been slacking on my brow care. I feel like it's just so long now. Are these scissors good? I just want to try them out just so I can like trim my brow hairs. Let me know in the comments if you guys use this and if it's good or not. Considering the amount of skincare I got, it was actually not that expensive. It was $120 and I pretty much refilled all of the things I needed. So it's actually a really good price. I'm so happy. Now I'm on my way to get corned beef. <laughs> I'm gonna go to my favorite Filipino store. There's actually a Filipino store next to Kabukicho and I always go there to get some Filipino ingredients whenever I want to cook Filipino food like sinigang and stuff. I feel like I should do that. Like cooking for yourself is like the epitome of like having your life together I feel like. Am I making shit up? <laughs> anyway, I just want to like cook for myself more because I've been uber eating all my meals for like the last week and every single meal is so expensive. It's like 4,000 yen for one meal. It's giving LA. So I want to start cooking again especially because cooking is so much healthier anyway and it's just so productive. It forces you to do things every day, you know? And like not be laying in your bed all day. It forces you to wake up and like eat breakfast. <gasps> Oh my god, remember in my London video, I was like, I should start making English breakfast every morning. I should do that. Okay, the real actual reason I want to get corned beef is because of a Bretman Rock video where he was eating corned beef and it just reminded me of my childhood growing up in the Philippines. Literally, whoever invented corned beef, you need to get your ass ate, bitch. <laughs> Ew, it's my least favorite part of Shinjuku. <laughs> the east exit, ew. Do you see those cringy men? <laughs> if you ever walk past this street that connects the station to Kabukicho, make sure you don't stop for these men because they're just trying to like get in your vagina. Oh, but no, it's actually so cringy. Yeah. Oh god, look, there's another one. A lot of tourists come to Kabukicho, like this area, but I don't think anyone actually knows what this street is for. <laughs> I feel like people just come here for the lights and for all the pictures, but there's so much prostitution going on in this street. <laughs> It's the most dangerous street in all of Japan. I literally have a friend back in Japanese class when I was in university that got beat up here. I just went into Asia Yaosho. It's my favorite Asian store. It's not necessarily only Filipino products. It's like Southeast Asian things. They had coconut juice. They had things from Vietnam. They had things from Thailand. But I got myself a few things. The bad news, they didn't have corned beef. Maybe Don Quixote would have corned beef. So instead of corned beef, I got something else that's also equally as exciting. I mean, like, exciting for me, but <laughs> I got too seasick. If you guys are Filipino, you guys know this. It's just such a big part of my childhood. I also got Mamacita Sinigang Mix. This is so random to pull out in the streets. Also, I'm in Kabukicho. Like I said, it's the most dangerous place in Japan and I'm just like vlogging like this casually. But I was getting so thirsty, so I got myself this coconut juice. Let's try it. Apparently a few years ago, there was a lot of people getting sick from cans because there would be like rat piss on the cans. Anyway, let's try it. Wait, that's good. I was just taken aback because there's some pulp. It literally said so in this huge font here, so it's on me. Okay. Going into that store, I always feel so nostalgic. They had things like Kamsit Kanton and stuff, which I always had during my childhood. Anyway, let's go to Ikea. My little brother Stewie is waiting for me there. He's gonna help me get some plants. He's gonna help me get some curtains and stuff. So let's go. Hi. Hi! I love your shirt. Thank you, I love you. Ah. I have a gift. My hair looks crazy, let's go in. I've been having the best day ever today. Really? Yeah. Well, let me make it better. Look what I got you from the Filipino store. <gasps> oh my god, it's are you kidding? Thank you. Okay, let's go get fake plants. I mean real plants, I promise. <laughs> Should I just do Christmas decor, you guys? <gasps> Wait, they have new products. Look, it's so cute. Do I need this? <laughs> to put it in your butt. Do you guys remember that blue table like in the middle of the apartment? Well, we fucked it up. So now we have to buy a new one. Which one do you guys think? This yellow one or the green one? Those are my two choices. Hmm. <laughs> do I need fake plants or real plants? <laughs> they didn't have curtains in Ikea, so we had to come to Nitori. They're literally closing in six minutes. We're trying to look for a curtain. Should we get like the one that looks like you fucking sprinkled black pepper on it? Or just like the plain white? We can't decide, but we need blackout curtains so I can sleep at 4 a.m. I'll let you guys know which one I decide. <laughs>
How's did I fuck up the sizing of both of my curtains? <laughs> I'm gonna try to exchange it, but Japan has a weird policy with like exchanges and returns, so let's see if they even allow me. I tried to put it back as nice as possible, but dumbass me tried to rip it open before I opened it from here, so now it just has this boob. I hope they don't notice it, or I hope they're okay with a nice little boob. The product itself is not touched. I mean, good as new, right? <laughs> I really don't like dwelling on things like that, so I'll just let it go. Anyway, I got myself a new fur. This is a nice little alien from Ikea. His name is Furb, of course. This might be my favorite plushie I've ever seen in my life. Like, look at him. I also got myself new table slash chairs. This was from the kids section of Ikea. I was just thinking the yellow one would be so perfect for downstairs, and this purple one would be for upstairs. I got a vase, so I just wanted to like put a vase on top of this. I feel like it would be such a cute little plant stand. Look, that is such a perfect nice little chair. I don't have anything purple in my house yet, so this is a nice little touch. Like this is what I'm envisioning. Purple with this cute yellow vase I got. Isn't that so cute? Like a purple and yellow moment. They're like complementary colors. I think that's what it's called. Supplementary? Complementary? One of those. Shut up. I had to get myself fake plant as well because I'm just like over taking care of plants honestly I travel so much and I don't want to keep buying plants and then killing them and then buying plants and killing them because I travel a lot so I decided I'll just get myself like fake plants but I'm sure like the mental effect of like greenery in your room will still be there my brain won't know it's fake like every time I see it my brain isn't gonna be like that's a fake plant shut the fuck up you know what I'm saying I was also thinking I think I should change the color of my light to something a little bit more white because I have so much color in my apartment I feel like every single time it's night and I turn on the lights it's just so yellow and the colors of my apartment don't shine ah! wait that's ugly <laughs> I think you need to like bend it, right? Wait, that's cute! I love these little pine cones and there's stars on it for the Christmas vibe. I love doing these hauls. Do you guys love it? Are you obsessed? Yellow chair! I was thinking this yellow chair would be perfect for downstairs. Someone in the comments actually said, Stan, if you add too much color, your place is gonna look like a nursery. I'm like, that's literally what I'm going for, thank you. Yellow chair! I love having adult money. <laughs> I got the candle holders that I saw. Now my place looks like a nice little church. Happy birthday to me! I'm actually thinking I should put the candles upstairs. I was originally gonna put it here, but the red and the orange isn't really matching. So I think I should put it here. Remember the plant was here, but I cleared out the space? The candles would look cute here. Here, actually, I think, right? I also got this tiny fake Monstera instead of that massive one here because every time I would pass by, that massive one would always be blocking my way. So this tiny fake one... It will never it will die. die. It will never it will block, never my, block way. my way. A guy from LA sent this to me. He's so sweet. I think it's perfect for this vase, actually. <gasps> Sunflowers are my favorite flowers in the world. I think right here. That's cute. Like I said, this table broke. It's just so wobbly. And there's a lost screw. I got myself a different one. I actually love the color of this one. It's like the greenest green I've ever seen. And if you guys didn't know, green is my favorite color along with brown. Let's build it. Oh my god, I'm always building my own furniture. Ta-da! Isn't this such a cute little chair? Table. I was just thinking this green table is way more functional as well with this chair Obviously, I only have two chairs here. Sometimes when I have a visitor, they have no place to eat So this is like a perfect spot to eat your meal This is supposed to be like a sofa table. Sometimes I just want to like sit on the sofa and do some work This is the perfect table. Ugh. I don't know why to me getting my life together is just like waking up early in the morning But like that's just something I really want to do because it's been two weeks and I've been waking up past noon every single day So I really just want to try to like wake up early even just once this week once this week it's sunday it's literally the last day of the week it's like my last try okay let's see if i can wake up tomorrow morning <laughs> good morning stance dance guess what time i woke up today 8 a.m <gasps> I finally slept at 11 p.m. last night, and today I was able to wake up at 8 a.m. But there is a huge reason, because today I have an appointment at 10 a.m. to get my new iPhone 15 Pro Max Titanium. So, let's go get that together right now. Woo! Shut up. 
I got my phone. Now I'm in Big Camera to get a new case and screen protector. There's always so many different types of screen protectors. I never know the differences, honestly. But I hate matte screen protectors and privacy screen protectors. I always just get like the shiniest one. I also don't care about blue light cut. Like, just give me all the blue light at this point. Just give it to me. <laughs> also, in terms of cases, I don't think they're like cute cases. And like the new color of the iPhone, the titanium, I wanna like show it off. So I wanna just get like a clear case. I got my new phone. So in the box, it doesn't come with a little power brick. It just has the cable and now it's USB-C, which I'm so excited for. The box is so skinny. It literally has like three things. The phone, the charger, and the little manual. So exciting. So like I said, I got the screen protector and I got a clear case with like this curved border. I thought it was cute. This is a famous brand in Japan called iFace. Cringe. <laughs> I've always put my own screen protectors. I don't like it when the store does it. I'm actually pretty good at doing it. And most of the time, a lot of the screen protectors have like a guide. Literally like this. Like this thing has a guide as well. Look at that. Like it's so easy these days to just like apply the screen protector yourself. Ta-da! Just like push out all the air bubbles. This is what my phone looks like. This is the case that I ended up getting. It's just a clear case, but it has these rounded edges. So I don't shatter my phone when I drop it. Because I'm actually pretty notorious with like dropping my phone. And I know I always say this again, but thank you so much for supporting me. I can get like things like these and things I want because of you guys. So thank you so much. There's this like special QR code and I have to just like scan it. And it will literally start transferring everything from this phone to this phone. It's doing it. Because I have 40,000 pictures in my album. Apparently it will take two hours for the setup to complete so while the setup is completing I think I should start deciding what clothes I'm gonna sell I have 40,000 pictures and videos but I also have 40,000 clothes and because I shop so much during my travels I feel like I just need to get rid of a lot first shirt kickers so this purple top I used for the super shy video I filmed I think I literally wore it once but I haven't found the chance to wear it again and I'm kind of like over it so I'm gonna sell it in and out t-shirt from the US I'm gonna sell this I just have like a lot of clothes this t-shirt Planet Hollywood this has a lot of memories actually I got this when I was in university I'm gonna get rid of that you guys know this t-shirt getting rid of that as well I know a lot of you guys love this t-shirt but I think I wore it so so much it's had its time but it's time to let him go this top as well I know you guys love it but I've worn it so much it's time to pass it to the next owner. This green Nike top, I think it's cute. Green is my favorite color. Maybe I'll keep this one, you know? It's like really good quality. It's Adidas. You guys know this t-shirt. Let her go. This Disney t-shirt, one of my favorite t-shirts actually. I think it's time to let her go as well. It had its time. I loved it so much. But I think I've worn it so much already and it's time for new pieces in my wardrobe. I know, I love it so much, but it's time to let her go. But yeah, I'm not gonna go through every single piece of clothing in this video, but I'm probably gonna sell it online. I'm not not necessarily gonna tell you guys where you can get it. It's probably gonna be Japan only anyway. Thank you so, so much for watching, you guys. Thank you so much for always supporting me. Would you guys say that I got my life together in this video? I would say so, you know? But yeah, no, for real. Thank you so much for everything. I will see you guys in my next video next week. Bye!